I'm down here with Jesse and some stuff that uh, I used to hunt whenever I was a kid. And we're actually out here looking for a deadhead. But look right up there through the thicket. Oh, it's a brown too. Oh, one piece of candy. We didn't zero. That's always the goal. I like it. I said, hey. I said, hey, Jesse, make sure you don't ease off that gravel down here, okay? And he was like, all right. Well, let me just climb through my window. <laughs> don't worry, my foot's on the ground. I'm not gonna fall. Hey, Jesse, make sure you don't ease off the gravel when you park. Make sure you don't ease off the gravel when you park, Jesse. <laughs> so again, just like Mississippi, my brother comes to rescue us. Jesse don't like these videos, but that bow tie had to come pull him out. Uh, and that's where we were at. See if he can do it again. Jesse said, holy Shanakas. He said, I'll claim this. I just got some cutters on him mm -hmm. for down here. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. Right. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good one. I like it. Well, Jesse just let out his war cry, and it's like a whoop whoop. I don't know, it's different. It's not like Eric. It's not like the dog bark. It's a different war cry. Ah. But he said him's found a shed. Let's go see what it looks like. Huh? Oh, he says bigger than mine. I don't know if that's the truth. We'll have to see. Dang, it's the truth. <laughs> I don't know, it's gonna be close. Yeah, it's close. It's old, but. It's old, but we ain't no horn snobs out here. Mm -mm. I'm gonna put that one in the truck. Mm -hmm. He hit the woohoo again. I just got 15 yards from him. And then he's over here hollering again. Oh, somebody shot that one and didn't want to talk about it. That's what that was. <laughs> Them's not legal, and ain't been legal in a long time. <laughs> he said it was a giant. I can't stand this man. <laughs> I'm talking about not being horn snobs. Check this thing out. That's the wildest deer horn. It's starting to rot at the tip. <laughs> but uh, we just come over the top of this little ridge. There's a bunch of rubs. And was talking about, I don't even know. That's wild. And it's dense, too. It's not just a, it's not a regular bone. I mean, it's definitely a deer horn, but that's wild. Like I said, we ain't no horn snobs. Big or small, we'll take them all. Anyhow, on with the hunt. Oh. <sighs> Looks so mean. Hang on. All right, guys, it is Sunday, March 19th, two days before my birthday. Um, but anyways, I'm actually over here at my brother's house. Um, we had, or he had, I guess you'd say, I was baiting, but he had a couple decent bucks show up late season. And uh, we had t-ball practice today. And so after t-ball practice, I, uh, my brother needs a good set of rattling horns. So I told him that I would come over here and do some walking around in these pine thickets and see if maybe I could find either a set off of one of these deer or a couple of sets out here um, to try to get him some good rattling horns for seasons to come. So anyhow, this is that stuff like I was talking about in the other, uh, the last video or the first part of this video. I don't know how they're gonna hammer out yet, but that, uh, that I like to shed hunt in these pine thickets. It's, it is harder to see horns um but whenever you get in these little thickets like this there'll be little open pockets and a lot of times those deer will stage in those open pockets lay down in those open pockets outside of these briars and it usually makes for a pretty good spot for you to find a down horn so anyhow i'm going to pick one of these deer trails in a minute that looks like it has less briars than the others and uh 
we're gonna go walk it. So I'll be back with y'all if we uh, get on some horns. Let's go. So I just got up here on top, and as you can tell, this opens up. And this is what I was talking about. Those little open areas that kind of open up, make it a little bit more visible. I don't know if you find more horns and stuff like this because it's more visible, or if it's just that's where they like to be. But look down, saw that little time there. Oh. Till last year's horn but for this area that is most certainly not a bad horn i've been walking probably three mile circles in here and this is actually like a big knoll in this thicket but i found six or seven different uh rub lines that came into here a couple of them really big and i always say the south side slopes don't make really any difference in arkansas but what i was actually doing just then was trying to make my way to the south side of this slope to see if it could make me a liar today because I hadn't found a horn. And guess what? We ain't gonna zero and no horn snipes. It's coming to the house. Ooh, looks like time. Out here, uh, what's the middle of May? Getting ready for AT teams to come in and, uh, I had done a little walking. And looks like the brush hog found it. <laughs> but uh I'm gonna stick it back together, buddy. We'll take that. All right. Well myself and Mass Sergeant Bye Guy Johnson over here is out here walking, marking some area. Go ahead and snatch that dude up, bye guy. Snatch it up. Out by God standing. <laughs> That's a hard day to beat, guys. Well, by God Johnson got on that fat line on his ridge, and uh, he found himself another one. He didn't wait on me to come over and come pick that one up. by God standing. That's right. Because the fat line he's talking about, when you walk up there a little bit further up, it is covered with rock and it's hard to get footing. So you come down to this fat line where it's easier to walk and by God, it's like an antler garden. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's uh, that's number two on the day, but we are done with uh, marking this area. So we're out of here. By God, Denny's right again. You can look at this area. You can see it's pretty steep up on a ridge. But one thing Denny said to look for, them bucks will bed down around old fallen brush tops and logs and stuff. And right here is where I found this antler. There's a little old road that goes right up there. That's easy walking, but a buck of any size doesn't necessarily take the easiest path. They take an area where they've got some cover. And there's a pretty good trail heading right off down into the bottoms there. Walked up there. Come on guys, so got this big slope down here behind me. I was walking that line right there. Um, this is actually like a west facing hill. And so anyways, I was walking in, looked up here on top and I actually seen that one main beam sticking up and was like, I don't know if it's a horn, it's a good one. Didn't actually think it was a horn, but anyhow, I walked the south side of this, didn't find anything, been finding a bunch of bones on this side. So I thought, well, I'd come over here and check, but. One thing better than getting one is getting two. Doubled up. Let's go. All right, I'm sitting here driving. And I don't know if you can see right up in that hole, but that looks like a horn. And if it is, oh my God, that is a horn. Holy shenanigan oh my god 
Whoa. Holy crap. What a horn. Look at that G2. So I was actually on the phone with Mr. Uh, Chris Parnell with Camo Dust talking about I never shed hunt this late in season and we was kind of laughing and then he was saying some bad words about the guy that I decided to bring with me today and then I was like, whoa, let me call you back because, oh, piece of candy. Oh, it ain't of this year's, looks like a last year's, but look at that cool acorn point. That's pretty nifty. Anyways, let's see if we can match him up. That's a good day. Hello everyone, this is Master Sergeant By God Johnson, and I am a student of the Clifton Denny shed hunting. As you can see right here behind me, it turned out to be a pretty good find. And I want to show y'all right where I'm walking. Right now, there is a creek bed back here behind me. I was walking that, jumped some deer over here on this north side that were bedded down. So I decided to cross the creek and start walking this fat line. And that, I'm going to walk that all the way on back around about another mile or so. And if you turn in the camera the other way, you can see of the fat line kind of meandering around. I'll walk down there a little bit and turn around and see if I can't find the mate to this. But this is a pretty, by God, good-sized deer right here. So that's a good shed. Now it'll be even better if I can find the other half. Because Denny spanked my ass yesterday. We went fishing on a pond. He caught about eight nice bass. I caught two. And then he finds four sheds. He finds one that's about the size of a woolly mammoth tusk. So I'm out here trying to kick the crack out that ass. But he has raised the bar quite high. I've got a ways to go.